Hello everyone. Today we will explain the new topic in biology. When we meet a person for the first time, the first question that we do is, what's your name? The same when we see an animal, a plant or a microorganism that is not very familiar to us. The first question that comes in our mind is, what is the name of this species? And today we'll talk exactly for this how to name different species. We will say what is binomial nomenclature, what is the difference between common names and scientific names, which are the rules for writing scientific names, and we will give some ex examples of scientific names of different species. In this slide you can see a cat, but you can see also how the cat is named in different languages. I, but maybe also most of you, do not know even how to pronounce these names. But what if we are in a lab with other students that speak another language, or if we read a science book which refers to the cat with one of these names? Will we be able to understand the information? Probably not. But as the cat is saying in this picture, don't worry, because the cat has a name that everybody knows. And this is a scientific name, Felis catus. The cat, as all other species, has common names, but has also scientific name. What is the difference between common names and scientific names? Common names are names that are used locally, which change from one country to another, from one language to another. And the scientific name is a specific and a unique name which identifies and describes the species. For the reasons that we said before, but also there are cases that common names or one common name is used to describe or to name different species or a specific species has many common names, is better to use scientific names. These scientific names are not used only because they are unique and specific, but are used also to record all the species that have been discovered until now. And is developed also a unique and international system of naming for all the species. This international system of naming is known as binomial nomenclature. Binomial, as from the name, by means two, nomial parts. Nomenclature refers to a system of naming. So, binomial nomenclature refers to a two-part naming system. An organism's scientific name has two parts. The first part refers to the genus and the second part refers to the species. But what is genus and what is species? Genus is a group of closely related species to which the species belongs. And species, as for sure you all remember from the previous lesson, is a group of organisms capable of interbreeding and producing fertile offspring. In this uh, picture we can see a crab and the crab is the common name for this species shown in this picture. The scientific name of the crab is Xanthias lamarki. You should know also that all the scientific names are written in Latin. The first part of the scientific name shows the genus of the crab and the second part shows the species. As there are rules for naming species, there are also rules for writing scientific names. The first part of the scientific name, which refers to the genus, starts always with a capital letter, as in this example here. The second part of the scientific name starts always with a small letter. Both parts are written in italic or, if it is not possible, both parts must be underlined. 
you have the example here of Homo sapiens, that is the scientific name of humans. The Homo refers to the genus of humans and starts with capital letter, as we said, and sap sapiens refers to the species and starts with the small letter. Uh, so, by uh, this scheme, we can also or repeat another time the rules for writing scientific names. And the rules are the same for all the species. You have another example here of lion. The scientific name of lion is Panthera lea. By knowing the scientific names of different species, we can find information according to the genus and species that are both levels of classification for living organisms. And you have here some uh, scientific names of some common plants and animals. And you can find the genus and the species for each of these common plants and animals. And you can exercise and test uh, yourself. For example, if I ask you which is the genus of pea plant, the genus of pea plant is Pisu. The species of pea plant is Sativa. If I ask you if this scientific name is written in the correct way, your answer for sure will be yes. Why yes? Because Pisum, which refers to the genus, starts with capital letter, and sativa, which refers to the species, starts with small letter. Both parts are written in italic. For these reasons, the scientific name is written in the correct way. You can do this exercise with all other examples. You should pay attention to two important points. You do not have to learn the scientific names of different species, but you have to learn and identify the correct way of writing the scientific names. As a homework, you have to explain the benefits of using scientific names and an international system of naming. This was the topic for today. I hope you have a nice day and thank you very much for your attention.